So today we're working on a two and a half ton heat pump. Our indoor air handler is made by First Company. Our outdoor unit is made by Goodman. We're diagnosing a continuously burning transformer and or blown fuse. We're gonna dig right in and show you what's going on. So the initial call was no heat. We're in the middle of the winter. It's about 19, 20 degrees outside. I come in here, turn my thermostat on, and get no action. I start to smell a burning smell coming from my transformer. It's starting to warm up to the touch. Um, I decided to get my camera, see if I can make a little video. Kind of freestyling this whole thing. So, just letting it warm up, j just for kicks, but, um... Once you see something like that, you want to, you know, go ahead and pull that disconnect. Because something's not right. So I went ahead and jumped the gun, which is going to come back to bite me a little bit later in this video. I decided to go ahead and uh, pull this transform out. I checked the fuse already, but we're going to go ahead and check it again in a minute. At that pull this transform off. It's very simple. Just use your nut driver back that screw out. And um that whole assembly will come out that cubby hole right there. Go ahead and grab your new one. If you're not familiar or sure how to change this without uh taking a picture or doing one leg at a time, um well, if you're not familiar with it, do one leg at a time. So you have two high voltage wires, you have two low voltage wires. You're going to take that off the 208, put it on your new transformer on the 208. We're running off a of 210. Um, this is an air handler, so you know we're going to need 210 to operate this along with our heat kit. And you're going to have two low voltage wires. You're going to put our red on the 24 volts. And you're going to put the blue wire, that junction of uh, two blues and one ground wire right there on the common. This is very easy. Um, you can mess up, but it's very hard to mess up if you uh, follow the simple directions. So pop that back in. Take that same bolt that you took out. Throw that thing back in there. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Checking your wires. Make sure all the wire nuts and everything is good going on. And so here's this fuse. This is kind of a key factor. So I pulled this fuse off and I looked at it and it's good. Um, I was expecting it to be bad, but it's a good fuse, so we'll go ahead and pop that back in. Throw our disconnect back in. So these Honeywell thermostats here, um... To get into the user setup, it's a four-digit code on the back. Get that four-digit code off the back. Go into the installer options, hit put that four-digit code in, and you can throw it in test mode. So I just threw it in test mode, put it in heat, turned it on, nothing. Um, you probably can't hear, but it's crackling going on again. And I can smell more of the burning coming off of my windings off my transformer. Uh, and instantly, she start getting hot again. So I'll go ahead and pull that disconnect. Now what we want to do is 
we in inspector mode. We in inspector mode. So we checking, we checking these wires. It's giving me some type of a uh, ground shortage. Um, that's what I'm leaning to at this point. So we're gonna speed this up. While I'm checking these wires out, making sure nothing's broken, making sure nothing's melted. Everything is looking pretty good inside um, so far. I decided to disconnect my red wire coming off of my thermo my transformer, and it led me to an outside broken wire. So we're going to take this party outside. We're going to find our unit, pull our disconnect off. Make sure y'all trace that wire from the disconnect make sure you trace that wire from the disconnect back to your unit and make sure you're pulling the right disconnect use your nut driver go ahead and take all of the screws off the top lucky you'll have a unit beside you you can spin this thing over if not you're gonna have to find yourself a way to prop that thing up nicely without letting it drop and uh stressing anything else so we look down here and right away i can see the blue wires right there making contact with the txv copper lines that's connected to our wet bulb so i'm gonna take my headset off and see if i can um god damn give y'all a little bit better shot of what's going on but that low voltage wire has bonded with the copper and it's creating a ground short in our circuit you can see that right there that white around that blue wire where it's burnt and bonded with the copper so we're gonna go ahead and fix that um, cut the wire you can restrip it wire nut it um, I reconnected it, I taped it back up, and I also saw some wires touching off of my low limit switch. I went ahead and taped that up too, um, just to kind of prevent anything else while I'm in there. But just inspect all of your other wires, make sure everything else is looking good since that you got that top off and you're already digging in there. Once everything is looking good, go ahead. Pop your top back on, same way you took it off. Hey. disconnect back in there and yes for anybody asking I did burn up two transformers and luckily I had a third one on my truck everything not all golden glitter over here in the HVAC world just trying to get y'all some real some real live scenarios Put that transformer back in the same way we took it out. Same way we put the first one in there. Put that disconnect back in there. So this go around, I went ahead and I took my batteries out of my thermostat. So if you wire up these correctly, you can wire your red and your blue. Put a jumper on RC and R. And this thermostat will power up without the batteries. I kind of like it that way. If something's going on my unit it kills the thermostat so go back in here install the options throw that four digit code in that's on the back of the thermostat it's really not for everybody just for the installer pop that in go down into we're going to test the heat you can test everything else in there heat cooling fan and emergency heat but we're just testing out heat. We're gonna test the heat. 
That fan kick right on. I hit my compressor run up and hit a free on run through my line set. Go ahead and pull that disconnect, pop this face cover back on. Start buttoning everything up. Uh, your infrared gun we're getting what 71 72 degrees coming out of there <laughs> giving us a range 71 over here also and we just kicked it on so you gotta give it a little bit of time for it to heat up but everything is doing what it's supposed to do at this point so right now um, our auxiliary heat did not kick in yet so whenever you have a room temperature, we're going to use this for uh, an example, 70 degrees, and we have a set temperature of 75 degrees. When it's over, like, a, depending on your settings, but normally when it's over a 2 or 3 degree, maybe a 3 degree gap, that auxiliary heat should kick in. The auxiliary heat is pretty much a big built-in space heater inside of your air handle. And once that thing kicks on on a day like today, where you're in the high teens, even low teens, you're going to get that extra boost of heat that you're looking for to keep your house warm. So auxiliary heat just kicked in. Um, and we're going to go over here and check our registers to see what type of heat that we're pumping out now. Look like it bumped up in the high 80s. Bumped up significantly. 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and check our other register and see what we're getting over there and that's 91 definitely bumping up we're going to check this last one one more time but it pretty much we're good to go uh, 102 102 104 all right that's it All right, very next morning, very similar issue, um, which didn't happen yesterday. So, totally different unit, of course. You can see the fuse is blown. And thermostat is blank. Now, that's usually what happens with this next issue, I'm, or the same issue, I'm gonna show you. All right, so, hold the camera. S same issue, same, I don't know if y'all can hear me. Same issue, um, almost the same location. Right there. And I'm gonna try to move it off. There. You see where it burnt that. So, I'm not gonna give y'all the long drawn out video. Same thing, different unit. I get called out here for these all day long. Um, trying to show these guys how to fix it. So, I'm gonna knock this thing out, finish this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Real quick, and I'm back. <laughs> and upon inspecting the wires like you should, look at that. I believe this is going to be the cause of this one. But this is why you want to inspect all of the wires once you get in here and head these tops off. Um, this stuff does get hot on these. Ah. This stuff does get hot on these heat pumps and um, can cause you some issues in the middle of the winter giving your, your tenants no heat 10-4 alright so boom 
all we gotta do now pop this in we fixed our made our fix and this is what we would have only had to do if it blew yesterday so pop that bad boy in and i can't reach it but let's see if i can come up here without dropping anything See. Pop that in. Back in business. 